Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, May 5, and the COVID-19 hairstyle for the day, pig in a wheat field. And there were two things that struck me about the style as it was being played out in my head. You know, how do you pull this off to have a pig stick to your head? You know, you got to be able to be athletic, you know, running and you're doing jumping jacks and stuff. You gotta, you gotta get the pig to hold tight. And that, that was not easy, especially, you know, without having blatant ropes and ties and steel beams holding it in place. Uh, I didn't want all that. I wanted something convenient, something flexible. And uh, this is it, pig in a wheat field. Now the inspiration came from two different directions. One was art. Some of our famous American art involves the pig. And I happened to find a digital artist by the name of Daniel Eskridge. And Daniel Eskridge digitally rendered a piece that he calls the Pink Pig. And let me read to you in his own words how he describes it. It's evening in late summer. One of the pigs has broken out of its pen and has wandered into a wheat field. It's a beautiful piece of art. And Mr. Eskridge has dozens of pieces of pig art, if you're interested. I found them online. Fascinating work, and most of it is digitally rendered, which makes it even more kind of hip and and cool, much like, much like this. Now, the other side of it is, you know, we all have this sentimentality toward the cute little pink pig, like Babe. Babe to us, the hero pig, the sheep pig. You know, what a great story. But I know, based on a recent Sports Illustrated article, and then some YouTube searching that I did, uh, that feral pigs are actually a pretty big problem right now in Texas, Arkansas. And so the quote-unquote pig in the wheat field can also carry some pretty negative connotations. Because they can cause some serious destruction to crops. And it's hard to keep them contained because you can't fence in everything you're growing, if you know what I mean. So anyways, there is a downside. But I'd, I'd prefer to, when it comes to this hairstyle and the fact that we're dealing with a pandemic, uh, which makes life depressing enough that we shouldn't be thinking about the danger of feral pigs. So let's just think of the happy side. The cute little pink pig side. The babe side of the pig. And in this case... I forgot to mend the fence and the pig broke loose and got into the wheat field. Can we all deal with that just for a day? <laughs> I think we can. So give it a shot. By the way, I had a caller call into the radio show and he asked me, why is so much of the wheat gray? You know what, Jacob? I don't appreciate that phone call. But let me tell you something. That gray... Yeah, it's the sunset reflecting on the wheat, okay? Looks a little gray. No, it's not gray. It's golden wheat. Whatever. So, anyways, with that, and enjoy your day. Uh, and I hope that uh, you're able to get outside and, and enjoy the uh, beautiful weather, even though you can't really get too close to any humans. Yes. It's weird. See ya.